Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo, our modular, new modular groove box. In this video, I would like to show you how you can take advantage of the great features of this app and create quickly a synth. So let's click on the plus sign here to add the rack. You have a new view where you can go, where you select racks or modules by categories here, like generator processing and also by subcategories here on the right hand side. So for this tutorial, let's add an oscillator here. And after I've added an oscillator, I will add straight away uh, also an amplitude envelope under the processor category so that uh, that will uh, um, stop the oscillator to produce continuous sound so let's go for it right so here we go it's as simple as that let's click on the keys to show the keyboard and let's press on some of the keys as you can hear we have a new synth so let's go through the settings of this synth so we have three modules or three racks. So the first one, MIDI to CV, this dark color green on the header, the oscillator, which is this lighter green, and also the amplitude envelope, which is also this lighter green. So the MIDI to CV um, um, convert MIDI signal to CV signal, including gates and velocity. And here we have our oscillator. And as you can see, the connection has already been done with uh, uh, the MIDI to CV module. As I explained in the previous uh, tutorial, the connection go by colors, not by cables, which keep this, the screen nice and tidy and clean and clear. Um, so if you click on it, you can see that it is selected to pick up the output from the MIDI to CV, so like output there. And the same on the amplitude, you see the color here has been connected to the oscillator, like so. Right, so um, let's uh, play with the settings. So first of all, on the oscillator, we have different waveforms. Sine, sort of, square, triangle. Let's stick to square. You can change the octave. You can change the tuning. As yeah, I explained in the previous tutorial, controls which have on the left the triangle, it is uh, dark gray uh, triangle, means they can be further modulated. If you double click on a dial, you can see the value and you can also reset it. Here we have pulse uh, width, which we can change. Okay, let's move to the amplitude envelope now. Here we can change our attack, decay, sustain and release. So let's change the attack a bit. This makes it a little bit more pod-like. Let's add a more decay. Let's remove the sustain. Let's uh, remove a bit of the release. Okay, here we can change amplitude setting, which are shown in decibel, and also we have some velocity settings that we can change. As you can see, it's very straightforward to create a new synth. Let's add another module. Let's stick to processor and let's go to uh, a filter. Again, connection made. If you click on that, the connection is already being made with the amplitude envelope, which is great. And if you click on the keyboard, if you play some sounds, you can hear that the filter has been applied. Okay, the type of filter is a low pass filter, 12 decibel here. Okay, you can select others. We have two dials here on knobs. Uh, the first one changes the cutoff in hertz, the second one the resonance. Great, let's add something else, like for example a reverb, like so. So here you can change a connection already made, as you can see from the filter, but then you can also move it to something else if you like. And which will give you different effects. Here we can choose our low cut settings. Can you hear the difference? Our high cut. Yeah, very much. Our size. Can impact pre processing. See, there's a delay there. You can change the mixing. And you can choose to dump high frequency. Okay, 
as you can see, great synth already creating. It would be nice if we can save these and also save it in a way that can be reused. And you can do this in um, Groovebox. So let's click and hold on the oscillator header, um, like so. Let's release, let's select all, and then let's cut. So we have cut now those modules into our clipboard. Now let's click on the plus sign and let's go to generator, go to the top and let's select an instrument rack. Um, now let's click on the plus sign here where to add uh, different racks. And instead of selecting from the different categories and subcategories, we click on paste. And in this way, we will paste our our synth, which we, we have created. As we are here, also let's click on the uh, plus here to connect uh, our oscillator to the pitch here and also this one, which is already connected by default to our MIDI CV. Okay, that's great. So here is the magic, look here. So let's click on this symbol. And voila, we have a new synth. Fantastic. Now let's save it and let's click on the instrument label here. Let's click on preset. Here's where you have a list of, of your different categories. You can add the different folders and you can import, export. Let's click on the user folder, which is a folder already created. As you can see, I have some tests already done. Let's click save. Let's change the name. Let's say um, test free and let's click enter. And here we have done it. Fantastic. So let's test it. So let's click on the menu here. Let's create a new project, a, a tracks MIDI to CV. Let's click on the plus sign to add a new instrument track. And this time we click on the preset here. We go on the user folder and test free. Bring in the keys. Which is fantastic. If you, if you notice no change in notes on the keyboard, which means the connection have not been done. So expand that, okay, and um, connect that to the pitch that. That's done. Okay, brilliant. As you can see, great features um, in Groovebox. Um, and we'll see others uh, as we move along. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.